Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make dynamic lighting in your Roblox game to make your games look so much nicer than they already are. This is just a small tutorial that I'm going to show you. It's just going to be using the lighting system in Roblox and it's also going to be using uh, some free models and some terrain just to show you what you can actually make in a Roblox game to make your game actually look somewhat okay and nice. But all you'll need in this tutorial is you will need to open the terrain editor and this is just to make your make a small canvas so what we'll do is we'll make a small sized area and we'll make build this up a tiny bit and we'll fill it and we're going to turn on grass and we're going to press fill as you can see all this grass is here for some reason if your grass doesn't show what you can go and do is press workspace go to terrain you can turn off and on decoration now for this i'm going to turn decoration off just so i can grow the terrain around it with this i'm going to click grow and i'm just going to put up some nice uh hills on the outside of the map just so i know what i'm doing and i can have a little bit of dynamicness to the actual scene so once now that i think that's done all i'm going to do is i'm going to turn back on this just to give it a little bit of show. For this, I'm also going to add the grow tool. I'm going to turn down the strength and go to rock. So for little faces like this that you think, oh, this could look nice with a bit of rock, what we can do is we can just add a little bit to it and add that extra texture, which you think might look good in some areas of your map. So we'll just add it in around here because I feel like a nice rock wall would look quite nice. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to close uh, we're going to uh get, grab this grab that what we're going to do is we're going to just delete this section uh sorry delete and what we're going to do is we're going to do water and we're going to fill now you'll see that you get little lines around the thing so what we're going to do quickly is we're just going to get sand or you can use leafy grass depending on what you are actually doing for this i'm going to go to paint and i'm just going to i'm just going to paint this with a very small brush just on the outside so i can get rid of this grass so you use the paint tool to remove grass because we don't really want grass on our build in this area and then what we can do is we can add some height back around the pond just to make it look less pond like so we can add some rocks to it, which will add a nice barrier between the grassland and the rocky little formation here. And as we can see, that's already looking somewhat nice. If you want this to be a little bit less rounded, what we can do is make it like that and add the cliff face back. You can see it's now le less of a square and more like a, a round pool of water, which is quite a nice addition. Now what we can do is in Closer Terrain Editor, and what we can do is we can come to Toolbox, and you can search realistic trees, or a realistic terrain, um, like Asian-y pack, something like this. You get trees, you get bushes, you get all that jazz. So what we can do is we can control U this. So we've got three different sets. And for some of these, you may find that they're all just one singular thing. Or there may be several, which is the problem with sets like these, so I'm not going to use this one. However, I am going to use um, something like a realistic um, foliage. Um, actually, I'll just use realistic trees because I can't spell foliage. And we're going to get a realistic tree pack. There we go. That's all the trees that we'll need. And for this, we're going to use these. So we kind of want a colour match. Well, actually, I'm going to use these nice ferns, these, and um, maybe some smaller trees. So we'll just bring that over here. So we've got them all. For this, I'm going to size them down because I feel like they're a little bit too big for my pack that I'm using uh, for the terrain area. And then I'm going to place these around the map where I feel that these would fit very nicely. So I'd add a tree here. And you want to get the correct shade locations as well. And size your trees. Sizing trees is really important because it actually adds the aspect that it's um, 
somewhat of a real forest or that it's actually going to make sense to the build that you're doing. You don't want to add too many trees, too little trees. You want to be just right where you get somewhat of a nice view and it's actually a nice place that you'd want to visit in real life. That's what the aim is, is to make it look somewhat realistic to the point where you feel that you, the environment around you that's actually somewhat half decent. And we're going to have some of these more smaller trees. So the, obviously we've got this variance between the tree types. Uh, we want variety, variety, always good. And this is great for a small starting area. And as you can see, that's all perfect. And if we wanted, we can delete all of the other assets. Assets pack that we are not using. Then what we can do is we can come here. This is quite a nice little area. So what we can do is just delete all these useless things that we don't want. We can add a nice atmosphere quickly in open properties. We have an atmosphere of what we want. So I say an offset of around, around that. The small density. We can add some sun rays to add a nice effect. We don't want too higher intensity, but we do want these to be quite high with the low amount of intensity also. Then we can come to terrain and we can open clouds. And we can add clouds into the game. And for this, I feel like a, a little bit of cover is nice with quality just to give it that extra vibe. And then we can move the sun because we don't want the sun to be where it is we think this one sucks so what we can do is we can change the time and we can locate the sun we can add it like that or we can have it here or we can move its actual axis which is going to be not here anymore because they have removed it it's nice of Roblox. Uh, so we can change the brightness or we can change the colour diffuser which is helpful and we can also add a certain amount of fog to this as well so for this I'm going to move the actual sun again so I'm going to change out oh, here geographical latitude and we're going to add it so it's facing there so you've got that sunlight we can even change the time of that slightly so it's a little bit nicer and then what we can do is we can add some colour correction and we can add maybe some bloom. Bloom's important, however, we don't want a really high intensity of it. In colour correction, we can change this to be a little bit nicer of a colour. If you want like a warmer, a warmer kind of day feel, then you definitely got that. So now if we do run, as you can see, the sun is there, it's nice, and it's really decent. You get like a very aesthetically pleasing scene i think this is the best way to do your color lighting and your different perceptions so obviously we've got the nice clouds we've got the sunlight the dynamic so when a cloud goes in front of the sun the sun rays will stop um, reflecting off the ground and will reflect off of whatever the clouds are that are forming in front of the sun uh, pretty much this is all all you need for lighting and different aspects. You can change the outdoor ambience. So if you want it a different colour, like green, which is uh, probably not nice. But you can change it to maybe a, a, a little bit of a solid or greeny, bluey kind of feel. Because that's like dark, that's light. And that's how I would go about changing things. However, that is dynamic lighting. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you want more tutorials like this, please like, subscribe and I will. We'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.